the need to simulate district energy systems has never been greater. This is a typical district heating system that keeps your houses warm. It burns fossil or biological fuels to bring heat to residential radiators. Simple and easy to understand. Or is it? As we know, weather and temperature changes control the demand and what's optimal to produce at each plant. Temperature varies throughout the year and can change from minus 50 to plus 30 degrees Celsius. Heat boreholes and heat pumps are challenging the traditional point-based energy production as consumers are converting to prosumers and geothermal energy is being built on large scale. The prices of electricity and fuels are ever-changing, thus having an effect on the decision which plant is most cost-efficient to run and which isn't. District cooling systems are built on parallel to district heating systems. Organically grown cities might stretch far from heat sources and might need demand load balancing with heat accumulators. To minimize network heat and energy losses, all the pumps need to be sized and operated with optimal parameters. Installing and using the data of new meters and data points should be well planned. You can have separate low temperature networks connected to your main pipelines via heat exchangers. If you can do this with your current impractical simulation software, we salute you. But while you're at it, why not try out fluidic heat? This is a demo model of a medium-sized district energy system with three plants in fluidic heat. Using the software, it's easy to select and visualize different areas within the network. It's also easy to add a digital elevation map that will allow you to quickly get an overall topographic view of the area. Fluidit software also has a support for most common background maps with just a few clicks. Using a profile view, you can understand the topological differences of your pipelines. Simulation is easy and fast and you can even simulate multiple scenarios with just one click. All the result windows are updated while you are working with your selection in the model to ensure a smooth modeling process. Flows, supply temperatures, return temperatures, pressure differences, heat losses and power deficits are all easily visualized in fluidic heat. It's also possible to see the different heat sources, range and area of delivery. Having an overview of an area summed up values or a minimum, average and maximum values are just a click away. It's easy to import and examine new plans inside Fluidic Heat as it supports importing most common GIS formats. After importing new material to the model, it's always appropriate to check its connectivity. Importing customers to the model can be done from a simple Excel sheet. Proper and easy to understand visualizations minimize the risk of poorly planned designs. Fluidic Heat has inbuilt systems for detecting common problems in the network topology and power deficit. In this scenario, adding a pump solved the pressure difference problems that the customers were experiencing. And now we can be sure that our new design has the right parameters and hardware to deliver safe and uninterruptible heat to all the customers in the area. Simulation is the only way to test plans before they are taken into use. As the district energy systems are getting more complex, you want to be sure that all the new designs work properly together and that you are running your system as cost-effective as possible. If you want to achieve all of this in your network, Fluidic Heat is the right solution. A simulation software from designers to designers.